led by two-time Southern Conference Coach of the Year, Keith Esslinger. Your Chattanooga Mocs wrestling team is Chattanooga strong. That is amazing right there. How many times he snapped him and brought him back. Chattanooga is home to 29 SOCON tournament titles, 16 regular season championships, 151 individual champions, seven SOCON wrestlers of the year, and nine Division I All-Americans. You're watching Monday Mock Talk, hosted by head coach Heath Esslinger. Welcome Chattanooga wrestling fans to the Monday, January 23rd edition of Monday Mock Talk. We've been off for a few weeks with New Year's, uh, MLK last Monday, the offices were closed, but a lot has happened since then with the Southern Scuffle, Virginia Duels. Obviously last week in we were at the Virginia Duels, not a great team performance, uh, obviously uh, didn't come away with team victories, but really walked away from that weekend feeling good about some individual uh, performances and knew that it was something we could build on uh, for the coming weeks. Uh, we got back, right back to work this past weekend with uh, Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. Coach Spates has done a great job with their team there this year. They're so close to, to breaking through and getting over that hump uh, there at Edwardsville, and that's great for our conference. It's great for wrestling in general, and it's great for our conference, and, and we want to be advocates for them to continue to prove the better they get, the better we get. Uh, but some tough matches on Saturday up in Edwardsville. Uh, obviously, I thought they were favored in several of the matches. You know, they had defending conference champ at 25, 49, and 97. All of those matches uh, went our way, uh, that, which is huge. You want to beat guys you're not supposed to beat. You don't just want to beat the guys that you're supposed to. Uh, key matchup at 125, Alonzo Allen just looked like a rock star, man. Alonzo. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it because I don't know what's happened. Uh, I don't think it's a coaching deal. I think it's an, indiv an individual deal, but he is wrestling lights out and has beaten some really good guys over the last few weeks. Obviously, to knock off the defending conference champ the way that he did uh, was very impressive. So I think he continues to move upward and forward as this year goes on. At 133, big win for Chris Debian. Uh, tough kid. You know, I think we can still continue to get better there, but Chris is, is making his way back to where we knew he could be. Uh, at 141, Chase Zimanak knocks off a guy that spent much of the uh, first semester in the top 20. At 149, Dillinger Potter, true freshman, knocks off fifth year senior and defending conference champ uh, at 149. So great performance there. And then at 65, another win for us. 84, Bryce Carr gets the pin to, to seal the duel. Uh, at 197, Clay Dent knocks off a conference champ from two years ago. Uh, and then Jared Johnson just keeps doing what Jared Johnson does, and that's win big match after big match. So overall, I think it gives us some momentum in our favor as we go into these next few weeks. We got some important matches coming up over the next uh, three to four weeks. This weekend, we have our match with Davidson. We also have our rescheduled match with Campbell. Those matches are going to be at noon and two. We will wrestle Campbell at noon, and then we'll wrestle Davidson at two. So all, all Mox fans, uh, make sure to be in McClellan Gym at noon uh, for both of those matches. Those are two big matches. Obviously, the Campbell match is a big match. Coach Colott's done a great job over there at uh, Bowie's Creek, and, and that's a that's a good that's going to be a great dual meet for us. You're going to see some great matchups uh, for that dual meet. Some top 20 matchups in that dual meet that are going to be exciting to watch. Uh, the following weekend, we're right back at it at Gardner Webb and App State. So. Not much rest for the weary right now. We're training well. Our guys are doing a good job. I think we're continuing to move forward. Uh, and I think you're going to see some of those, uh, that forward progress play out at the end of the year when things really uh, matter. Again, just a reminder to be here this Saturday in McClellan Gym at noon and two as we take on Campbell and Davidson. Uh, one of our two last home dates for the, for the spring semester. So make sure, we want to make sure all our Mox fans are here. Uh, this Saturday at noon, and at noon and 2. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Monday Mock Talk. We'll see you next Monday. Chattanooga Strong. <laughs>